Hello and welcome to The Long View with me, John Jordan. So I'm currently playing uh, Raid from Nautilus uh, and I've got to the stage now, very exciting, where I've got my first Sacred Shard. So we can see here, um, when you're summoning characters in the game, uh, there's four uh, types of shard. There's the Mystery Shard, which is the most basic, you get a lot of those. Um, and you either get common, one star, uncommon, two stars, or rare, three stars. That's the maximum um, rarity you can get. Um, you get ancient shards, which are three, three, four, or five star quality. Um, but you're probably going to get a rare one, a three star one. Um, and obviously, void stars, uh, void shards um, have the same, but you get more of the epic and legendary. And then sacred shards, you guaranteed at least a four star hero. Uh, maybe get a five star one. So um, you can see here the chances of summoning. So we can see here, um, you know, with a mystery shard, you've got like a 1% chance of getting a rare one. Um, with an ancient shard, you've got 0.5% of getting a legendary. Um, void 0.4, even less. And then a sacred 6%. So probably going <laughs> to gonna get an epic one, pretty certainly, but it's a much better chance of getting a legendary one. Um, so, um, and the other interesting thing to point out here, just in terms of monetization, is in most of these games, you know, if you go to the shop, you can get these kind of packs. So we can get packs here with ancient shards. Um, the second one up, we can get ones here with void shards, the third um, best one, but we can't actually get these, um, the best shards here. And the only way you can get them actually is if we go here. Um, so here we have the sacred shards. This is the best one. You have to pay, this is like almost 30 pounds. So what's going to be $40. Um, don't get them in the starter pack, the cheap one. Um, but we get the Sacred Founder pack, it's 50 pounds. Was that going to be you know, 60, 70 dollars? Um, so, so um, quite exciting that <laughs> this is the the um, first time I've opened one. I probably won't get anything that I actually want because <laughs> that's the way these things go. But let's just show. I'll open a, a mystery one, the, the rubbish, the rubbishest one, um, the worst one, should we say? Um, I've actually opened ten of these because you just get so many of them. So we can see here, I got. They were all. <clears throat> so I got um, three. Three uncommon, two stars, and the rest were common. So obviously, just use those, um, just consume those uh, to level up other characters. Got my void shard here, which is fairly rare as well. So let's um, you can see I'm having to spend some currency to open that. What am I going to get? Oh, a daywalker. I've never seen one of those. That's kind of interesting. A knight revelant. They're kind of like the evil-looking knights. You know, it's pretty powerful. Um, you can see here some some of the power power ups that we've got here. Okay, but that's not the main event. So let's go to the sacred one and see see what I get. Come on, give me something good. Oh wow! <laughs> now that's impressive. It's probably not something I would use because it's a little bit grotesque. Um, and you can see it's epic, it's not legendary, so there's 94% chance of getting an epic one, so not, not a great surprise there. Um, so we can go in, so they're going to sell, try and sell me <laughs> something. Um, so I'll come out of here and let's go in, look at my champions. Now this is not all of them, I've got a whole bunch in a vault as well. And um, we can see how they stack up here, so where are the ones? Here he is, he's my, the Ripper. Um, so he's four stars. I've actually now got, I've got my first five star one. So this one, this uh, elf and archer, I've leveled her up. Um, so she's five stars. So actually, a th this four star one is actually not actually very. I've got loads of four star characters, um, so it's not actually that um, interesting to me. Apart from the fact um, I've never seen this kind of character in the game. So if I, you know, you can't really collect individual characters because there's there's loads of them. But um, interesting from that point of view. And there's the other one that we looked at, the Daywalker, Knight Revelant. So there we go. Um, just quickly show how the how the leveling up goes while we're here. Um, so off to the tavern we go, which is where you do the leveling. So I've got um, one character here. So this one, this blood brain braid. Um, so you can see she's three stars. She's um, rare, and um, she's been leveled up to level thirty. So you can level up um, level them up ten levels per star. So now she's, she's maxed out. I can't level her up anymore, but I can um, upgrade her rank. In order to do that, I will have to use three three star characters. So I could just use that Knight Revelant I got. Um, and just use these. 
So an upgrade her. So she's going to go from three stars to four stars. Just checking that I know what I'm doing, sort of. So there she goes. And as you can see, actually, her, all her stats have gone down. So her power's gone down, her HP's gone down, her attack's gone down, her defense has gone down. And she's obviously gone from a three star level 30 character to a four star level one character. So now you have to do the whole um, leveling up again. Um, I can ascend her, which is like a, a kind of secondary power up. Okay, so that's that. Um, but now the interesting thing is I do actually have um, I have quite a lot of four star characters to level up. So let's do that yes, um, to upgrade their rank, I should say. So in order to do that, I'm going to have to go to uh, my Champions Vault and take out. So you can see here, all these are all the characters I've got. Um, this is just a way of kind of keeping the UX easier. So some of these characters that I've leveled up, I'm, I'm kind of keeping out of the way. Um, so and some of them I haven't. So some of these are level one. So these are the ones I'm going to use. So I'm going to take out, going to move these out of the vault. So remove them from the vault, okay. And now I'm gonna go back into the tavern and now I'm gonna swap into this character, the chaplain. So she's level level 40 of four stars. So she's maxed out again, but I can upgrade her rank. But now I have to use four four star characters. So we can kind of see quite quickly in this game, I've been playing it for quite for a couple of weeks, or probably about a month now, pretty heavily. And you do just get a lot of characters and it does take a while to level them all up, but you do get this kind of, um, you do suddenly understand that to level them up, just you end up using needing an incredible amount of, of, of similar starred characters to level these guys up. It really is. So you can kind of see why the monetization works on this because you just want to be buying a lot of high star characters in order to level them up. Uh, but these ones are just ones that I've um, leveled up from level three characters. Um, so let's use that. There's the final one. So she's going to go up to level five. Checking, I know what I'm doing. You see, the graphics, graphically, they, they don't change at all. It's not one of those sort of games. But we can see here, the HP's again gone down quite heavily, so I'm going to have to start leveling her up again. Um, and I can do that. I suppose I can go straight away and start upgrading the levels. But I've got oh, so I've actually got quite a lot of this, um, these power ups. But have I got any for her class? I have got some for her class. I've got quite a lot actually. So let's you can use these, these special beers. I suppose what they are. Um, this is going to take her from level 1 to level 24 but she can go up to level 50 now so I'm um, going to need a bit more than that so let's um, uh, do that it's going to get her now to level 32 so those are pretty powerful to level up those um, beers uh, compared to these level 1 characters that are rubbish um, it's not going to take her up very much at all um, and what else have we got that looks like about it so we've got her from level 1 to level 34, so that's pretty good. Um, so we can see here now our stats are higher than they were when we leveled her up from a level 4 character. Um, but she's got a, a way to go. It's another 16 levels before she's up to level 5. And then, of course, a level 5 character to upgrade their rank. I'm going to need 6. I'm going to need 5. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to need 5 level 5 characters. At the moment, I've only got 2 level 5 characters. So you can kind of see how this game really... Um, it's like a inverted pyramid you start off and you're kind of happy you've got level three characters and level four characters and then you really start to realize um, how many characters of this high level you're going to need um, to keep it going so quite how long i keep playing it for i don't know because it's going to just take an incredible amount of time to start um, getting the resources you need um, in order to do that so there we go um yeah thanks for watching this is the long view where we play uh, free to play mobile games uh, for for a long time months and sometimes years do videos about the things we like sometimes the things we don't like too so um, don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in that uh, sort of thing put comments in the comments box always like to see the comments um, but thanks for watching and hope to see you again soon